I'm outside. It's a beautiful day. I don't know if you guys can see me in this case. I think you probably can. Okay, so I'm in my complex and I wanted to show you. Okay, so this is just a nice view. So what we're going to do, uh, I could probably put this down. Let me see if I can put this down. Put this two seconds. It's going to be a little, a little jittery right now. It's a very nice day today. The weather is nice. It's the first time I can say the temperature is not pouring down with rain or anything. Hello, how are you? I'm just outside today. Usually I'd be in my studio working on music, but since I have a portable studio space type of thing, I thought maybe coming over here and doing it outside would be cool. Very nice, uh, yeah. So it's gonna be a combination of art and music, uh, just digitally on my, uh, I don't know if you, can you hear me? Oh, it's all knotted guys, sorry, two seconds. Me and my knots, 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 knots. Knots galore. Oh, I'd have to re, ugh. It's a little knotted. I think it'll be okay though. So I'm outside today only because I just feel, yeah, it's a bit of a, my hair is a bit of a mess. You can hear me? Thank you. Oh, fantastic. Sorry, I'm a little, um, I don't, I know the, the light is not great, but I wanted to just have an experience doing this outside. I've never done a live outside on um, YouTube before, so I thought this would be just like a great day to do it. It's not raining. I'm taking a break from the space that I'm usually working on upstairs. And yeah, I thought maybe you guys might enjoy just seeing a different environment, different space. So we can do, I was going to show more garage band. I'm not bringing the speaker out because I don't want to make too much noise in the complex. So people come in and ask me what's going on because I don't own the place. I like, we're like renting an apartment. Um, but I think before I do the music, let's do some art. So there's, ooh, and there are bees. <laughs> there are bees. We had a moment with the, with the yellow jack earlier today. I'm, I'm, they must like me. I don't even have anything on, so I don't know what they're like interested in. Um, okay, so we're going to go into, this is what I'm using for my students as well. It's called FR Studio, FR Studio, which is an Adobe, like, it's like a, an app that you can use for, oh, didn't see that. Can you repeat that for me? Sorry, they, they, they appear and disappear, the, the questions. Maybe I can sit here, maybe I should just sit here and answer questions. Can you hear me? Can you see me? I'm too high, too low. Oh, sitting is not gonna work. <laughs> Okay, I'll stand over here. My eyesight's not great. I'm using my phone to record this. I've put on weight, so I'm trying to lose the weight and I had to exercise because exercise is important. So I was a little bit late for the live today, but I just want to show you guys. This is something I'd worked on before in this app. So besides music, I do art as well. I think I mentioned that. And I created this just on just with my finger, hey? So if you're like an artiste type of person and maybe say for instance, you wanna do like an album cover and you wanna sketch out an idea, this is great because you don't have to walk around with paint, brushes, pencils, uh, anything. We're, we're going into the world of new technology and I mean, the iPad is great for everything, isn't it? So I was teaching my young student this, cubes, I know there are a lot of kids on here. That's okay. If you're interested in watching, it's okay. This is, even though I have it down as adults, it's, it's actually for like all ages. It's okay. And I know you guys are probably going to go on like holiday and stuff right soon. Um, and this is what I was doing with my student. I was just showing him like a cube and putting a circle 
and then creating a shape in the circle. We'll get back into the music in a bit if you guys are interested. That's okay. If you're wanting to watch and learn some drawing skills, today is, today, today is the drawing skill day. So I'm going to just do... Yeah, you're... Okay. I'm just going to do um, some sketches today, okay? So I'm just... We have... Let me show you this. I'm going to do... Oops. This is not going to move. I'm going to just turn this around and show you what I'm thinking of sketching. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? We have a chessboard. Can you see that chessboard? Yeah, we got a very big chessboard in the back. I might even play a bit of chess. Why not? Right? Um, a chessboard. And what I'll do is I'm thinking of, let me sketch out one of these big uh, characters. Do an apple? Yeah. Oh, yeah, an apple. Would you like an apple? <laughs> sure, I can do an apple. Is it easier? I think you guys, I think this is, you know, if it is a younger group, maybe painting and drawing and stuff, but might be, might be where we're going here. Okay. So I'm going to draw just an apple. I don't have an apple in front of me, but we'll, we'll, we'll say it's an apple. Okay. So I'm using my finger. I'm not even using anything. Okay. I'm using, yeah. I think the younger, you guys, the younger people during this lunch hour is, oops, Woo! there's a bee. Please don't follow me. Okay. So we're going to draw an apple. So you can spat, zoom in and zoom out. This is called FR. I think it's called FR Studio. FR. And if you have an iPad, you can use this. You know, and everybody says you need a pencil. But you don't need a pencil. I just use my finger. So there are many different things that you can do here. We're going to go into their different one, two, three. Uh, different tools. We're going to do the third tool down, which is like, it's like a pencil. Can you see that? I just scribbled. Okay. And then you can delete. You can le delete the scribble. You see these little arrows over there? You can delete there. Okay. So we're going to draw, you say an apple, we do an apple. Okay. Let's do an apple. It's not going to be a great apple, but we can, we can hypothesize. It's literally going to be, okay, we're going to do an apple. Uh, No, not great. So let's do. Yeah, that could work. Okay. Say that's the first part of the shape. You know, the apple has the core. Okay, we're going to start with that. We're going to create a 3D dimensional apple using this, okay? We're starting off with that. You can change colors, okay? Okay, let's do the apple. Okay, now we're going to go into, can you see that? Is that visible? Okay. You guys learning apples in school? <laughs> okay, so then we're going to do, uh, let's say we need a stem, right? And then a leaf. The leaf doesn't quite look like that. I think the leaf looks like more like this. With the apple okay looks a little bit more like an apple okay we're doing an apple today <laughs> that's fine would you like to learn some music as well like piano I have my piano on here too okay uh, and then we're going to do then we're going to do like different shades right so we're gonna do first of all let's let's finish off that section okay so you can zoom in and zoom out Okay, we're zooming in and zooming out. Isn't it cool? Like you can, you don't even need a, you don't need a, a sketch pad anymore. Uh, oh, thank you. I don't know why you, you, you like me so much. Is it because I'm creative? I'm an artist. <laughs> I'm an artist. I'm a creative person. Okay, so now we're going to switch colors. Say we're doing the apple. We keep it real simple. Okay. We're going to change it to red for now. There are going to be many colors. We're going to use red, green, and brown for an apple. So we're going to start with, and uh, maybe some yellow. There's some yellow, usually yellow at the top if we're going to do, let me just get some red in here. Um, and we're going to sh change the, you see the sizes over there? You can always go back and look at this if you want to give it a try too. That's what's nice about these lives is I'm recording. 
So when it's recorded, so you can, you see, I just changed the size. Okay, I changed the size. So now the size goes into, so now I'm, I'm making it thicker, okay? So we're gonna just start with a, an apple. I like it. I like it. This is a simple exercise for everybody to do. I like it. That's a good idea. I didn't think about that. I was gonna do something more complicated, but maybe this is a good idea. Okay. So we're just coloring in. It's gonna be really rough right now. See, I'm just using my finger using my finger. It's like magic. The moment this happened and they started using, they have this application, I was so excited. I was like, yay, I don't need to carry it. I don't need to carry anything. So zooming in and zooming out. See, zooming in, you can, and with your fingers, you can do this. Oops, adjust. Okay, so we're gonna just color this in a little bit. And I'm sure a lot of people do use pencils, but it is touch sensitive, so you can definitely you can definitely use this. Okay, so that's the start. We're gonna add brown to that. Let's change some brown. Some brown there, let's add some brown. Let's make that, okay, we'll do this for now. Over there, and then this part, and then we're gonna add some yellow. See, and then I don't have to carry my, um, I don't have to carry my, I'm going to make this smaller, all my, all my stuff. I just need to, this is a really rough sketch, guys. Okay. There's the, <laughs> there's the start of an apple. Okay, so let's do, let's add a little bit more red. So you can see at the bottom, you can go back and they have the colors. You just press the color if you want, go back to the color. Okay. And then add in this part that I didn't add in over here. And then I'm going to start layering, for instance. This is going to be layered. Okay. We're going to go, um, let's add a bit of green. Should we add green? No, let's keep, let's go back to the brown. We need to add brown to the stem. Brown to the stem. Okay. Okay such an easy exercise okay and then really rough guys but you know you can refine this like I did um, for the car this can be this can be done over time it saves it too so what's nice about this is you can always go back and refresh Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. So I zoomed in, let's zoom out again. Okay, apple, <laughs> definitely an apple. Okay, and we're gonna add little spots because apples have little spot thingies. Let me just uh, change a different red. Let's find a different red, let's go. See, and then you can add texture to it. And there are, there are different ways to do this as well. So you can, you can actually uh, use it like a uh, ink. Let me try the ink. Let's try the ink for instance. Let's see what it looks like when, when you have the ink. Um, six, let's make it thicker. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it, it like, uh, like ink um, stains when, and it spreads out when it's wet on a piece of paper. The same thing you can do on here too. Okay, there we go. There. Okay. okay, so you can see it's, it bleeds out over here. I don't mean to say that word, but I think that's, that's, the, that's the exact, you see that? Just like ink, it's very cool. So if you know how to use this tool, you can do lots of different things. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of music just now, okay? I don't know if you can see me completely, but I thought maybe it's a beautiful, look it up, it's a very nice day today. Very, very nice day. Okay, let's go back. Let's do a little bit more brown. Uh, change the brown up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go back to the other tool. Oh, interesting. 
You have to go back. Hold on. Very interesting. So this, that's a layer over. So the ink actually, the inks, let's delete this. I'm going to delete that one. Um, delete layer. Okay, so we're going to go back to the original layer. What I just did is I deleted. Okay, so we're going to, oh, okay, so it, it literally just deleted it. Okay, so we're going to just do a little bit more brown. We're going to add some more green to it. Let's add... Let's make this, let's just see. So you can see the, the variations of how you use the brush or the pencil, I suppose. This is more pencil. So there's an angle, you can adjust this. The same thing for GarageBand. You can adjust, we're, we're doing like graphic design slash drawing today. We're, we're making an apple, so we're doing an apple today. So instead of just doing music, we're switching over between the art and the music because these are all tools you can use to build yourself up. Um, I'll get into the copyright discussion later, but I think just, just to enjoy this beautiful day. And look, I'm using the same colors as you find in the background, which is nice. It's quite beautiful. Okay. Too thick, too thick. Let's go back. Delete. Okay. I'm just, you know, you can texture your apple. Let's put a little brown spot at the bottom. Let's make it darker. Okay. Over here. And then the little core section over here. Okay. You can see what I'm doing, a little apple. Zoom in, zoom out, zooming in, zooming out. Okay. There you go. Just on the iPad. It's great. I love it. I think it's it's like the new things that are happening now are very, very useful. Okay. Let's keep going with our apple. Um, oops, let's not add the brown. Let's go back to red. So I'm going to choose the red from the bottom over here. Go back to the red that's chosen at the bottom. Just add some more in. Let me add this little part over here. Maybe thin it out a little bit more, thin it out a little bit more, okay. Okay. It's a very simple apple there. That's okay. We can we can work with that. Wonder what that is. It's a dot. I don't know where that dot came from. Okay, let's go back to some more brown. Uh, yeah, lighter brown. Okay. So we're just enjoying today. We're just you know, we're just there. So you can see I'm I'm just using my finger. You don't even, just as long as you, your fingers are clean and, you know, you have an iPad. You could probably have another tablet, but I, I like my, literally, an Apple. Good one. I like it. Very smart. Very smart. Apple for Apple devices. I think that is brilliant. Good call. Okay. So we're going to curve the Apple a little bit at the top so we give it some shape, hey? texture. We're going to go back. See, but what's nice is you can go in and layer it. I mean, they're, okay, let's, it's a little brown. Let's go back to the red. Let's go back to the red. Come. See, you can always go back and take out pieces that you don't want. So I'm just, I'm just re-layering it. Okay. Okay, I'm hoping my phone doesn't, uh, I didn't charge it, so it's going to be interesting, but it should be fine. Okay, let's make that a little bit thicker. I'm going to go in and 
just take out pieces that I don't want. So there's never, there's never a correction you can't do on here. I like that you can go back and uh, readjust it and you can go back and kind of fix it up with either delete. You can't do that with pencil or paint. You kind of have to go in. It's sort of the same kind of concept, but it's just, it's just less hassle as long as you obviously don't damage the IEC. Now I'm going back in and just taking out pieces. Okay. Um, let's add some yellow. I'm just adding some yellow there. I don't know, you can do all sorts of things with it. So that's, that's thus, okay? I don't have an apple in front of me. This is an imaginary apple. I wish I had an apple in front of me. I don't have one right now though. Okay, so we're gonna go back into black because I wanna use the lines, the contouring lines. So what I'm doing on the outside before I start drawing, that's called a contour. Um, if, you're, if you're wanting to draw the shape of the actual project or the product, like an apple, the contours are the lines that I used before um, actually creating it, okay? So we're going to go back into this. 28 is too large, smaller, okay. Now we're going to go back and refresh those lines. Okay. I don't think you need all of them, but I think it's kind of nice to have little accents. Put this line over back here. There. It's a doodle. I'm just going off of what I know what an apple looks like. But can you see how, how cool it is? You can actually, maybe I should put it on a table. Should I put it on a table? Maybe I should put it on a table. So let's put the apple on a table. So it's a, it's a very, it doesn't have any, it's just not, it's nothing underneath. So let's create a little, maybe a table. Let's see, um, that's a big apple if we were going to create a table. Um, let's see how I can do this. Maybe the table goes you see, maybe the table goes here. Or maybe in a bowl. Maybe I put the apple in a bowl. Let me think. Maybe the apple goes in a bowl. Let's put it in a bowl. Let's put the apple in a bowl. Let's put the apple in a bowl and then put some other, other, uh, other objects in there. So now we're going to create a still life, right? So now we're putting it. We're now creating a bowl or something for the apple to sit in. So maybe, maybe the table is just over here, the bowl's over here. Okay, and then you see all the type of things. I mean, it's kind of cool. You can do lots of different things. Okay, so let's do a bowl of grapes. Let's do some grapes. Let's add some grapes to this. Grapes. Um, no. Yeah, we can do grapes. Let's do grapes. Let's do a variety of grapes. Let's just make some grapes here. Okay, good idea. Okay, and then... Okay. Started some grapes. This is for... I, I'm choosing to use um, the iPad, but I'm drawing today instead of just doing uh, music. I'll move, I'll move into the music in a bit. I just don't want my phone to die, which is my biggest concern. But it's such a beautiful day. I was like, well, this is a great day to sketch. I don't need anything besides the tablet. I don't make a mess, which is great. Okay. And then let's do purple. Grapes are purple, right? Okay, so we're going to do purple grapes. We need to enlarge this. Hold on. 
Okay. Purple grapes. And this is, you know, I'm going to switch it, switch it between art and music. I did say that. Only because I know that not everybody's going to be into the music. And I, I do art as well. And I'm a multimedia artist. So I, in theory, actually do both. And when you're doing something like social media, I think it's important to learn um, a couple of skills. Because those skills can help you with different ways to to make your uh, content, right? Content is important. Okay. And now... Oh, there are people. Have to be quiet. And then we're going to do some grape leaves. Grape stem. Grape leaves. Uh, I think the grape leaves look like this. Oops. Let's do, let's do, oops, 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 oops. Okay, and now we're going to go back to the black. Black for the line. Grape leaves look like this, I think. They have a different shape than, I think they look sort of like this. I think that's sort of like a grape leaf. Okay, so we're doing grape leaves. I think they're dark, dark uh, green. So we're gonna get a dark green out here. No, dark green. Dark green. That's pretty dark. Something's on my Oops. <laughs> okay, so there are people outside. This is a public space. So I don't want to interfere in people's daily routines, but I'm going to do this. Okay. Okay, so we're going to, we're adjusting this now. Okay, so we're doing a grape, a bowl of grapes and an apple. We started off with the apple and we're just playing around with the grapes now, okay? And look, I'm only using my finger. People are always using the pencil. Oh, my battery's dying. I'm gonna, what I might do is continue going upstairs and doing the music then in a few moments, okay? Because it looks like I am, my phone's gonna keel out just now. Just as well, right? Okay. And I like you can zoom in and zoom out, change the, the sizes of the pen tips or the pencil tips, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, my phone's going to die in a few moments. So I'm going to, oops, I'm going to go upstairs just now. Okay, let's do, Okay, and this is what it's, we're getting there. It's just a general sketch. It's not really anything more than an idea. And the colors are kind of, we don't have any purple. We have more blue. Um, but the purple I added in because, well, grapes are, they could be green, yellow, purple. Okay. It's called a still life. I don't have a still life in front of me. This is out of my head, it's imaginary still life. Okay. Sometimes it's good to kind of explore different ideas. So that's, that's what this is. We can, ex we can extend this idea into something a little bit more detailed later. I'm going to go back upstairs in a few moments because my phone is definitely telling me that it's going to die soon. So it's, uh, let me get what color is that? Do I keep it? Okay, wait, hold on. I don't know. We need to keep... 
why don't we keep it like this for now, it's fine. Let's extend the shape of the bowl out a little bit. So it looks like there's depth, right? And all with the finger, all with the finger. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna charge my phone and then we're going to continue, I guess, upstairs with the music. People are outside now, so I don't wanna interfere. Okay. But there's the apple and some grapes to start with. Maybe I put another fruit down there, we'll see. Okay, I'm going to, to dash because there are people here and my phone's gonna die. But I'll speak to you guys in a bit, okay?